On Cross Country this morning, Boyd Matson takes us to California for the story of a man after Michelangelo's heart. Larry Boyce estimates he has pedaled 67,000 miles in the last eight years, living out of the packs on his bicycle. Boyce is in search of ceilings, Victorian ceilings to be exact. Between bicycle trips, Larry Boyce is a ceiling painter, but the title hardly does him justice. Boyce painted this room in San Francisco several years ago. At the time, he was only charging about $500 for his work. When it started out, I just wanted to, it looked like a good way to make a living in the road, you know, in transit, because you don't have to have any equipment or nothing to carry with you. I read about the old itinerant painters in New England and things, so it seemed ideal. And then as it's developed, I've grown more in love with just ceilings, and not necessarily just Victorian, but any kind of ceiling. Boyce has no phone and no permanent address, so every new town is a new business challenge. When Larry gets off the road and comes into a town like San Diego, the first thing he does is bicycle around looking for the oldest neighborhoods he can find where there are a lot of large homes. Then he proceeds to just go door to door, trying to sell the owners on the idea of repainting their ceilings. Well, at first I didn't think he was for real. <laughs> I thought it couldn't be true that a fellow would live on a bicycle and paint ceilings for a living. I have the book open to a picture of a really gorgeous ceiling or something so they can see it right away. Eventually, uh, uh, we uh, realized this was an unusual opportunity. And I just generally wrap really fast so that they don't have enough time to close the door. <laughs> the Utleys opened their doors to Boyce and his painting crew. The result was a revival of a painting style unseen in this country for almost 100 years. Boyce and his helpers do not paint freehand. They cut paper stencils of designs selected by their customers. The patterns are painted on the walls and the ceilings by a process that can take weeks. When you finish a job, do you ever sign your work? I've never signed any painting except one where we had a really tough client, one of my few tough clients, and so we wrote the whole story <laughs> all the way around the room just above the picture molding of how tough it was to work for her. <laughs> Did this client see what you had written on the wall? I don't know. She'll find it someday. Maybe she will now. <laughs> <laughs> While the job is underway, Boyce and his crew live several blocks away in the backyard of a friend's house. I will only hire either a cyclist or somebody who's willing to cycle because that eliminates poor workers. They're all very hard workers. Everybody's motivated. We want to get to a town. We want to get our jobs and get done so we can get back on the road. <laughs> After three weeks of 12 and 14 hour days of daubing paint and changing stencils, the Utley house is complete and ready for inspection. What do you think of it? Oh, I like it. I really do like it. I think we, uh, I like the pattern and I think the colors really, uh, really are uh, just perfect for this room. It makes the whole room seem smaller, which it needed. Oh, this one was a creation. Went on day in and day out, changing here and changing there. Ken and George kept embellishing upon it. You know, right. It became more and more elaborate, more and more colorful each day. Price tag for the paint job, $3,500. Sounds like a lot of money, but it figures out to less than $10 an hour for Boyce and the crew. Can you make a lot of money at this? I haven't yet, but I think I will someday. Because I think, number one, I'm developing a market. The market doesn't really exist yet. But I even if his big market point, doesn't ever develop, really Boyce always has his first love. Well, I like the bicycling the best. It's very mellow. It's very quiet. It ties in well with the ceilings and with the Victorian West because it puts me more in touch with the way that my ancestors moved around this land. And so on that level, I can be more in touch with recreating whatever it was that they were involved in. For today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, New York.